Good morning, guys. I'm Carmen from Paintings by Carmen. And I got a sneeze. Excuse me. Excuse me. The pollen is way, way up today. Um, I scratched it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Anyway. I am going to show you how I done my granddaughter. <laughs> you guys are going to be amazed. My daughter was the last one, which will be Friday. And this one will be Monday's painting. But here she is. She is just beautiful. This is Maddie, my granddaughter fairy. <laughs> uh, now, whenever I did her, there's two, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's two bumps in the paint right here. I'm going to have to put a thicker coat of resin on. But this resin stuff, I'm I'm loving. I really, really am loving it. Um, don't ask me what the colors are. I hope I put it in the video. I've been working on these for the last two weeks. So, uh, to get it right. And, um, plus I was doing commissions. I've, I've sold like six paintings in the last two weeks so uh, I had a friend of my husband's he he sent me home some saw blades that they weren't using anymore and they were going to just throw them away so he sent them to me and my husband grinded them down and, and sanded them real good and cleaned them up and I varnished them and or not varnished I, I coated them and then I painted on it and I, I made a really pretty landscape uh, for the guy that got me them. So, uh, and he just loves it. It's sitting in there on my kitchen table with resin curing on it. So, but it's huge. It's a, I think it's a 15 and a half inch saw blade. It's huge, round. It's so cool. But anyway, um, I'm learning the resin thing. The edges aren't perfect, uh, but like I said, I'm going to put a thicker coat on the top so uh, you don't see the flaw in the dress. Um, other than that, I'm going to get you down on the canvas. There's a lot of talking in this one, guys, so I hope you're okay. See, I, I'm losing my voice because... This is the third video I've done this morning. So that's why I quit talking through the videos. Because I am i can't hardly talk anymore through the video. But anyway, I'm going to get you down on the canvas. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Beauty, 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 beautiful woman. My granddaughter, Ma, Maddie. Uh, God bless, guys. I love y'all. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. All right. I'll see you on the flip side.
Hi guys! You can hear me. I'm gonna resin my lady. Put my extra gloves up there. I've already been mixing for about four minutes. There's a lots and lots and lots of micro bubbles. I am using KS resin, I think. Yep, KS resin. The artist choice. The art one. Uh, I got gloves on. I got my windows open. I don't smell this. I don't know. It might have an odor. But I've done coasters. And they suck. <laughs> I want... I want to do the flower 3D coasters, 3D flower coasters, so bad, and I've I've wasted so much, so much resin. But with this, her body is a sticker, so I'm wanting to seal it under resin because. This spray varnish and the other just varnishes does, does not cover. So I'm trying the resin. Now I did one that I messed up on to see if it would cover and it discolored her body because the resin got up underneath it. So these I took them outside and I sealed them with uh, high gloss Modge Podge spray. That's what I did. I sprayed them two or three times. I went out and sprayed them. Um, I've taped the back of it. I don't normally tape the backs, but I did tape the back of this one and my other one. I taped. So, y'all will get to see that one. In the next video or this one's the second video I don't know I don't know which way I'm gonna put up first but I'm just I'm making sure but I've had people tell me that once you put the resin on you have to come back like every five minutes and torch it to make sure the heat that you pop in all them bubbles For like 45 minutes. This has got a cure time of uh, 45 minutes working time. Okay. So, and I bought me a little thingy to help spread it. It's silicone. I got it from Target. It came with that one and this one. This one is not silicone. This is a scratch pad. We don't want that. But this one here is silicone. It bends. And it's just like my Oxo Turner. So, alright. I got two of them to do, so I'm, I'm only going to do a little bit at a time. Okay. So, let's torch it first. That already looks a whole lot better. Get the mirror bubbles out. face and now it's got dust on it. Oh man. I got me. If I can find them. I don't know what I did with them. I got me some plastic tweezers guys. Just for that reason. 
because I didn't want to ruin my good ones. I went to a tool factory store and they had a package of them for like three bucks. So that's what I did. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. wanted you guys to hear me for the first time. If you want, want to watch me do my coasters, just shoot me, leave me a message down below in the comments and I'll start videotaping them. <coughs> so, I so want to learn how to do it. The resin is all new to me. I just wanted to get that sticker all covered up. Alright, let's torch it again. My in walls are back. They say you gotta torch the crap out of it. So I'm torching the crap out of it. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna get my fingers in here. Because I want the rest of it covered too. I wasn't sure how much I was going to need. do have some pits in the painting. It didn't crack, it just I guess it did kind of crack, but not bad. Take these gloves off. We'll torch it. Or a heat gun it. on my parents. 